Today we'll be giving a walkthrough of the Clarity Limbs UI, giving a high-level summary of some of the features and functionalities, and learning how to navigate our way through it. We'll start with projects and samples. Projects and samples is where we accession samples into Clarity Limbs, configure projects to hold those samples, and then assign those samples to a given workflow. I've already configured a number of projects here. We'll click into this one, and you can see uh, the types of fields that you can configure. We won't go through this. There will be other videos that go into more detail here, but we have a number of files. These are sample manifests that have been accessioned. And down below, you can see that I've got 96 samples assigned. If I expand that, I can then assign each one of these samples to a workflow, and I can do that in bulk as well. So if I want to just assign to a workflow, I can select from a list here. So pretty straightforward. There's a lot of functionality built into this one screen. We're moving on now to LabVIEW. LabVIEW is basically a summary of all the work that's going on in your lab. It's broken down at the protocol level. So we've got these blue bars, each of which is a protocol, and then the steps that make that protocol uh, underneath, as well as the number of samples that are in each. So here we've got 49 samples in step five, which is Amplify WGA. This is the Infinium workflow. Uh, if I were a lab tech and I wanted to start at this step and I wanted to select a number of samples, I could do those uh, individually here, or I could also bulk uh, assign those up at the top. Uh, once I begin a workflow, there's this ice bucket staging area where I can confirm everything looks good before I begin my work. And then it'll take you through one step at a time, depending on how you've configured that workflow until it advances to the next step. Clarity records a audit trail uh, every step along the way. So it's recording all the quality information that you need, who did what and when, uh, to what samples, at what time, all of that's stored and easily accessible. The next tab I wanna talk through is configuration. Configuration is kind of self-explanatory, but it's not just configuring workflows. It's also accessioning consumables, uh, configuring custom fields, and managing the users assigned to that instance, as well as creating custom automations. So lab work is where you create your workflows. The hierarchy in Clarity is steps comprise protocols, which comprise workflows. We have these things called master steps, which are steps that can be used multiple times. So you can create a master step and then use them in different protocols without having to copy those. It's meant to reduce some of the overhead. Once you've configured your workflow, you can accession consumables. I've got a number already accessioned. You can create a kit lot type and then add new lots, either one at a time here uh, with this button, or you can bulk accession reagent lots here using something similar to a sample manifest. It's a CSV file where you can you know, use a barcode scanner to bulk scan those in and then accession them into Clarity really easily. Controls is where uh, obviously you add controls into your instance. We can configure instruments as well. So here we've got a qubit and we can assign which master steps that we wanna use that instrument on. We have label groups that can be added here. So we can create a group label. Here's one that's already been configured. We can upload and download those label lists as well. Lastly, we have uh, containers under consumables. We can add new container types here. We've got a number of B-chip types that have been added into this particular instance. Custom fields is kind of self-explanatory. We can configure global as well as master step fields. These are really handy for a variety of use cases. And what's nice about Clarity is these user-defined fields are then accessible through our reporting tool, which is advanced search. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. Moving on to user management. This is where obviously you configure all the users that have access to your Clarity instance. Here we've got, let's view one of these facility admin. So I can select who has access uh, to this instance and then what specific roles I would like them to have as well. So I can add a role here and then hit save. And then that user will now have system admin uh, as well. And then I can remove that and save and they go back to normal. Uh, clients, this is for users who are using LabLink. So we have both clients and accounts. So the hierarchy here is that clients fall under accounts. So here we've got administrative lab. We've got a test field that we filled out. Uh, you, you fill out all their contact information here. And then within accounts, we select a account and then assign them to a client. 
Uh, so you can configure that and basically allows you to see who's accessing LabLink uh, on the instance that you have configured. Finally, we have automations. So automations allow you to automate both at the step, project, and derive sample level. You could spend a whole day talking about automations and the amount of things that you could use each of them for, but at a high level, uh, project automation could be used for something similar to, I want a basic logic where if sample type equals X, I want to assign those samples to workflow Y. Uh, that's something you can do at the project level. The step level, obviously you're automating in specific steps uh, within a workflow, and there's a lot of things that you could get into here. Again, uh, we, we don't have time in this particular video to do a deep dive here, but uh, there's quite a bit that you could do. Moving on, uh, I want to point out a feature that ex existed within Clarity for a number of years now, and that is WalkMe. And it's basically a tool to allow new users to quickly learn how to do basic tasks within Clarity Limbs. So let's say I want to learn how to create a new workflow. It'll tell me to click lab work. It'll walk me through, okay, hit new workflow. It'll test, you know, we can add a new workflow name and then hit save. It'll walk me step by step. And this is a great way to help reduce the training burden, get people up to speed when uh, they're just being brought on board. Next, we'll talk about advanced search. Uh, so within the search icon, we have a number of options. Uh, these four dropdowns are for a global text search. But if we want something that's more advanced, uh, we will select advanced search. And what this allows you to do basically have a reporting functionality built into Clarity Limbs. So Advanced Search is a flexible reporting tool. It allows you to both build a custom query, share that custom query with the collaborators within your organization, export the results of that custom query into a CSV format, and it also has a dedicated API endpoint. So if you want to automate that query on a regular basis and then share the results of that query to a third-party reporting tool, you can do that as well. There is a much deeper video on our YouTube channel. Please take the time to view that uh, if you want a more deep dive analysis into how this can be used. But just for the sake of this video, I'll give you a quick demo. Uh, if you click the save query here, I've got one that's already been configured and we hit search. You'll notice that I've already configured the results table uh, to show the, the columns that I want, uh, but we have these limbs IDs here. Now, if I click on a limbs ID, let's say that there's a sample that I had a question about uh, that I'm trying to find, I can click onto that and it'll take you directly to that page and we can select this little icon here, which is called genealogy. It's uh, the genealogy icon. And this will show you everything that happened to that sample from the time it was accessioned into the lab all of the key information is found here. Uh, so you have easy access to the sample lineage uh, from advanced search. The next thing I'll talk about is system settings. Under system admin, we, we have profile obviously, so I can view my information. I can go to system settings here, and this is where you configure uh, a variety of things within the Clarity instance. I won't do a deep dive on these, but I will just give a high level overview. So application properties is self-explanatory. I can configure uh, a variety of application properties directly within the UI. Uh, I can configure an instance banner. I've already got one here. You can see this at the top. I can export logs. This is only for hosted customers. For now, uh, I can also take global tokens. I can configure those to be used in automation scripts, configure IP whitelists, uh, again, for hosted customers only. I can configure role-based permissions. And lastly, I can uh, manage my SSH access, again, for hosted customers only. So there's a deep dive video that does a, a much better job of walking through exactly how each one of these properties works. Uh, please take time to, to review that if, if you're interested. The last screen I'll show you is dashboards. This is where we just get a high level overview of the instance. So there's two views. One is the instance level. So this is everything that's going on. It shows me workflows, uh, it shows me project samples. If I wanna see it at the project level though, I can select that and it gives me a little bit more of a granular view here. A lot of functionality built into Clarity Limbs much more than I can expand in just the short time that we have here today. But if I've piqued your interest on any of these topics, please feel free to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel or reach out to one of our support personnel. We'd love to help you and have a conversation about how Clarity can help empower your lab. So thank you again for your time today. We look forward to talking to you soon.